So as some of you all may know, I am going, I was going to have a bonfire on the eve of St. John, but it's supposed to rain that day, but it's supposed to be clear on the day of St. John's Nativity, and it's tradition to have a fire, and it's unique because it's supposed to be a bonfire, but you're supposed to burn an effigy of a witch, and with me being a former member, one of the founding members of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, I know that a lot of them do practice witchcraft and black magic. Uh, several of them have already put my face on satanic altars and all that stuff. So I'm doing my Catholic stuff to get back at them in a holy and pious way, obviously. But this is the beginning, the bare skeleton. Those are the feet, and this is the body. And then over here, way over there in that, right there, back there, I'm going to get a cross to, get, to make arms. And then today, after Bible study, I'm going to go to Goodwill and get a dress, to, preferably a black dress, to put on this witch and more importantly I'm making a little bit of a broomstick with a bundle of twigs if you know what I mean and let me get this clear one of these represent the Los Angeles sisters of perpetual indulgence the other one represents the Derby City sisters and then I'm going to go looking through blue states that are pro-abortion and I'm going to find the most popular house of the Derby City or the sisters of perpetual indulgence in that state and I'm going to name each one of these after a chapter house of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And there will be a total of 11 twigs wrapped up into a bundle of sticks. And then the two will make 13, which is Mary's number. Uh, because of the 12 apostles and Mary being the best of all Christians, so 12 plus 1 is 13. And then, uh, after I tie that up, I hope to bring it to church and leave it in my car, obviously. Uh, and I'm going to have it blessed. Hopefully, if not, it's all good. But I'll have it blessed, possibly. And then, um, basically, burn it. Like, it's going to be right here. So if you can picture it, there'll be a fabric dress covering this bundle of twigs that will ignite very quickly. And then I might bind more wood together. Possibly not. I might make it shorter. I don't know. It's taller than me. But it will basically... I'll, I'll sit it in like this and put some logs to prop it up and I'm going to do this this is the best image I can get it's leaning forward but picture a cross on there with, a, with arms like a scarecrow and a black dress and honestly I might change it from just black clothing because if I get a shirt a long sleeve shirt I can also put a bundle of twigs in the shirt and in the chest and then also I don't know what I'm going to do with the legs because you can't put pants on that but something to burn and this is what I'm burning for St. John's fire.